Erin here today. How are you? I'm so glad to see you this week. One thing that we are going to do today is talk about my January favorites. Because um, it's getting to the middle of October now. And I'm accumulating more February favorites. So, let's go. I've, I've got quite a few here I want to talk about. Some you've seen, some you have not. But um, the first thing I want to cover is talking about some lipstick. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury came out with two new colors. One I'm wearing today. And this is called Valentine. It's a brand new color that she has come out with. It's limited. So I, <laughs> I was lucky to get them as fast as I could. Tell me how you love it. Mm-hmm. It's a great nude, you know, the most, well, let's say the best seller that she has in lipsticks is Bitch Perfect. That is like the perfect nude ever. But this Valentine, I love. It's lighter. It's really cute. This one here is Pillow Talk. Now, that's kind of like the liner that I use. I use uh, Venus Pink, and then I use um, Pillow Talk as well. And I want to swatch this new Pillow Talk for you. Is that not hot? I mean, ladies, come on, please. Can we talk? Let me go ahead while I'm at it and swatch Valentine so you can actually see it on my hand in case you can't see it on my lips. And it's the lighter one. This is such a great nude. It's a great spring color. Well, actually, both of them are. Uh, the Pillow Talk is a little, let's say, beige nudie, if you will. And what I did today was I put Valentine on with the Pillow Talk lip pencil. And then right in the center, I put Skinny Dip. Just right here and right here. Just blotted it. Went like that. Skinny Dip gave it just that little bit of sheen. This is by Joyer. I think I had this in one of my uh, videos that I did. Let me just rub it on here so you can see what that looks like. It looks great when you're wearing nudes right in the center. See that? Isn't that pretty? It, it is. Love it. And that's what I did. I just put a little on my bottom lip. Right in there, the center. Just went like that. Gives it a little sheen, a little pop. Love it. The next lippy that I have been loving this month is uh, Jeffree Star's uh, Chrysanthemum. I know you've seen me wear it in some of my other videos, but I love this liquid lipstick. Now, I know a lot of people don't. They think it gets dry and it cracks, and some do. But look how moist that is. Can you see that? Chrysanthemum is kind of a pinky nude, and that looks fabulous. Now, over this chrysanthemum, I take, instead of the Joyer Skinny Dip for this one, I take the one that's called Moonlight. It's almost a, a silver dip, and just press it in the center. Looks hot, just hot. I'll put all the links below to everything I'm showing you. Okay, now the next thing. As you all remember, I had a huge, uh, actually it was a little mole right there, and with no sunscreen being on my hand or driving whatever I'm doing, it became very large, and it was about like that. Well, as you can see, there's hardly anything, if there's nothing. Blah. Okay. Let me tell you what I did, girlfriends. Y'all can sit and you can sweat over all this stuff if you will. Medical grade. Okay, let me tell you how long it took me, though. And then I'll discuss each product. When I went to my dermatologist, she said, okay, well, we can freeze it off. It's not going to totally go away, but we can freeze it off. Or, you know, we can do this or we can do that. Nothing made any sense to me. She said, or... She said you can use uh, Revision uh, Limoquin. It's got a little, a little bit of the uh, hydroquinone in it. And you can use the Abaji Blender. Okay, both of these, 
And I would alternate the two. I got both of them decided to alternate because I'm a crazy person. And I would just rub it on this age spot. And when I did that, I said, well, you know, it's getting lighter and lighter and lighter around the edges. Now, you know what? I've got just a little bit of shadow right around the edge here. And I'm still going to use these two products to knock out that age spot. I have not an age spot at all on my skin right now because I use these products. Now, do they work? <laughs> Uh, 500% yes they do work I'll put the links below in case you want to try these out these by the way will be on my skincare side but the blender it, Melissa 55 knows all about the blender so I don't even have to go into that if you watch her videos you know how well it works it brightens everything it makes it lighter it takes care of pigmentation both these products ladies swear by them yes Yes, yes. But I will put the whole link below, and you might as well try it if you want to get rid of that. The next thing I am still loving like crazy is my SkinCeuticals Reservatrol. This is an antioxidant that I wear at night. I absolutely love it. It's like a gel consistent, uh, kind of a um, cherry. No, it's not even cherry color. It's more orangey. Kind of a little orange gel that comes out, you know, in a pump. Let me just show you that. I'm being marked here. Everybody says, oh, shoot, it's so expensive. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? You see? That's the consistency, the color. It's kind of a little orangey type color. And, of course, you just rub it into the skin. And, I mean, this stuff just drinks it up. It's uh, very emollient. Um... It's got a scent, but I can't make out what it is. I mean, it doesn't stink or anything, and it's not real floral. But see how that just works its way into the skin? You know, you've got your vitamin C and ferulic acid in the daytime. You have to have your resveratrol or a product that contains this, and I'd say straight-up SkinCeuticals resveratrol, because this works. It totally works. Okay, the next thing on the list, and I'm whipping through just a tad fast. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments below as I'm going, because we don't want to miss anything. Okay, my tried and proved. Everybody knows I can't live without this. <laughs> I have two eyelash enhancers. One is a, my number one eyelash, you know, favorite here is Revitalash, and I use the um, uh, eyebrow. Of course, I do trim off all my eyebrow hairs because my hair grows straight out now, okay? I mean straight out, so, <laughs> you know, it gets weird. But they grow like crazy, and this is for your eyelashes, and I also use the um, um, primer, eyelash primer, before the mascara as well. So you cannot be revitalized. Yes, I know it's pricey, ladies. This, uh, what is this? A three-point... All eyelash enhancers are expensive, let me tell you. Okay, ladies? But, I mean, you're not going to pay too much under $100 unless you go that Latisse um, generic that uh, somebody's got on their site there. But there again... This is 3.5 mils. That is a lot, okay? <coughs> this will last me a good five months. I can tell you that, if not longer. Um, and I use it every night, you know, just on a little brush. Swipe the top of your eyelashes. This and the uh, Neutralux were the only ones I found that will, your eyelashes just will grow, 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 grow. Now, I skip a bunch of nights. Because I have a tendency to hide my eyelashes because I'm taking so much biotin too to really grow out and I have to trim them down like I just had to trim these, you know, today. So I try, you know, just to use it just ever so long because I've used it for quite a while. And they'll keep growing and growing as long as you're using it. And it does slow down, of course, when you stop. idea is to keep it up forever and just trim them down as you go. Love it. Love it. Love it. I know, I know what you're saying about eyelash enhancers. But as long as they last, now this, 
won't be the same price as on my side it's going to be cheaper but I have always paid $150 for a 3.5 mil of course you have to understand this can last five six sometimes seven months do you see what I'm saying so you're it's still a bargain when you add up what you're getting I mean if it works hello let's do it okay and then girlfriends please I am so glad you all got this. I mean, everybody and their dog bought this stuff after I had, had it on. Octoly had sent this to me. And I did a review on this. And can I tell you, there is not a day that goes by that I don't use this. I love it, love it, love it. I no longer have all the dry patches in my skin or the itching. I mean, since I've had that D deficiency, my skin itches, itches, itches. I mean, I was like, Tammy, it up his beads. I mean, it was just a, it's a hormonal, uh, it's a nightmare. But once I started using this, I have not itched, not once, girlfriends, not once. And I know a lot of you ran out, tried it, to share. oh my gosh, this is heaven. And what you do is, you just get into your shower or your bath. When you get out, do not dry off. Just use this product all over your skin while you're wet and just air dry. I mean, I do my skin care while I'm letting it dry, you know, brush my teeth, the whole nine yards. Because I'm telling you, that Curel works. I've always been a Curel lover anyway because I use a Curel, Curel Healing Body Cream, you know, from head to toe. But once I started using the hydrotherapy, forget it. Forget it. I'm in the place with a smile on my face. And I mean, it is heaven. Okay, the next thing. I want to talk a little bit about uh, a couple other shower products. You know, I told you all about this in my video when I did my French products. And uh, these are by Yves Rocher. And remember I told you they're only $4 each. Uh, I had to get some more new ones and I'll run out of these really fast. But I love these. It, your skin feels so soft and pretty. And I love, you know, any type of bath creams, bath gels. Because I don't use soap, that's for sure, on my dry skin. No way, Jose. And I like to smell pretty, so I'll put the link below. They're still $4 each, ladies. Hello. You can't beat them, and they last a long time, believe it or not. All right. I am going to give you something that you all are going to absolutely lose your mind over. I don't know how many of you are familiar with Nevin Morgan products. Nevin Morgan uh, puts out candles, puts out body scrubs, body lotions, hand lotions, and this is a bath scrub and a bath soak that I love, you can see. <laughs> I have more ordered, lots more ordered. I go through this stuff like crazy. You talk about the most gorgeous scents ever. Now, this is the particular gold line right here. He's got the blue line, the gold line, all that. And uh, I'll put the link below to this too. But this is Floral Amber. O-M-G. Ladies, I am not kidding. This stuff is to die for. You're exfoliated. And you smell so beautiful, wonderful, desirable. <clears throat> Got to try it. You'll love those products. Okay, now I am still using and still loving my Marula Eye Cream. Yes, I know Marula Eye Creams can be expensive and so can the Marula um, Facial Oil that goes with this. But Marula Oil is really nice. Now, I use this eye cream. Um, I would say I only use this most of the time on the weekends because during the week, I'm going to use my uh, SkinCeuticals AOX. We know that. Love it, love it. But this is nice, and it's not heavy. It's lightweight, and it has helped with some of the fine lines. And wrinkles yes it has but it's heaven it is it's just dreamy love it um, I am still obviously loving because I know you can't say gosh do y'all ever use same products on a length of time something you really really like uh, are you just pulling up products you know for your videos no my skin medica TNS 
I essential. <laughs> I'm never going to change. I love it, love it, love it, love it. This is my evening eye cream. I use it every single evening in my life. Yes, it's a little pricey, ladies. But, you know, it really doesn't have a scent. And you just take a little on your ring finger. I mean, I just stick my little fingernail in. Just get enough here. Rub it like this and just pat it all around my eyes. You know, at night. And I will swear by this eye cream. I mean, I'd probably be a lot worse than I am now. Trust me, girlfriends. But I will be also carrying this product. Of course, I'm always going to put on there what works for you. It's got to work for you. If you're going to put out money on products, make sure they work. That's all I got to say. All right, the next one, and I've gone over this with you guys before, and this is uh, Silver from the Silver Skin Care line, Dr. Silver. Now, uh, that's the doctor that Brianna Stanko is associated with, and he has his Pure Marine Collagen. Now, let me tell you when I use this, because I know you've seen in my derma rolling videos, that I will do my derma rolling and then I will squirt this out on the pump, rub it and pat it all in to the little puncture areas from the derma rolling. I swear by this, I love this, and I will always purchase this. But let me say one thing since I just mentioned the derma rolling and I want to get that clear uh, because I didn't get that clear in my derma rolling video eons back or neither does anyone else but I told you the research I had done on derma rolling from all the you know the the doctors and everything else said hark hark if you use Botox if you have fillers in your face do not derma roll unless it's at least three weeks after your injections then you're safe in other words, if it's time for you to go in and get more Botox or fillers, you're going to have to wait three more weeks before you grab your derma roller, derma roller <laughs> because you don't want the product moving around and you don't want it to get lumpy and strange in your face. No poking, no messing once you get the Botox and the um, fillers put in. Wait three weeks, then you can do your thing and lay off. So you're doing it actually probably about once a month you can derma roll with the fillers and the Botox. Because we don't want to have any bumps or ridges or holes in our face, right girlfriends? Okay, let's talk some hyaluronic acid. Everybody knows that I love, 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 love Skin Medica's hyaluronic acid, the HA5. And I don't have the bottle in here. However, I do have my other one that I alternate with. And that is my Neocutis Hyalis Hyaluronic Acid. And um, I love them both. And I alternate back and forth. Actually, I have three. Uh, Revision also has the Hydrating Serum, which is Hyaluronic Acid. So I just alternate with the three, but I always use my Hyaluronic Acid day and night. My skin is dry. I need all the help I can get. I will also have this listed down below as well. Um... The next, uh, every, you guys hear me talk about hand creams and hand lotions a lot. Everybody knows I'm a Loxington gal, okay? However, now, mm -mm, I found something that I like a lot, and I mentioned this in my French video, the Caudalie. This is, listen. They're running a close race, can I tell you? I carry this one in my handbag and my lock's done on my desk, okay? So I've got them everywhere. So I'll just grab one or grab another. But you know what? I love the cuddly. Oh, my God. This hand cream is to freaking die for. I can't make up my mind which one I like the best, so I have one of each, and I keep, I keep using them both. Can't make up my mind, but I'm going to tell you something. This, this is just as good. Just as good. Okay, um, I wanted to mention a couple of more items. One, I've had a lot of questions about some, some Korean skin care. You know, I swear by Korean skin care. They've got it on. Did you ever see <laughs> bad skin on a Korean woman? Not if she's doing what she's supposed to do. No. Never happen. Well, I've got the Placenta 45 by the Mizon Company. Mizon, Mizon, I call it Mizon. 
Um, and I also have the snail serum. You all have seen me use that. I love this placenta. Oh my gosh. Now it's not from a real child, so let's not go crazy here. You know, there are placentas from plants and other things, okay? So what I do here when I use this, I will wash and then tone my face. And then I put my raw sauce, my May Coop raw sauce, which I don't have it in here. That's my favorite essence in the world. Use it every day, every night. Love it, love it. But after I put all that on, then I'll take this, a dropper, not a full dropper, just a few drops, okay, into my hand. You see it's a liquid. And I rub my hands together, and I just pat it into my skin. Just pat all over into your skin and just leave it let it dry and continue on with the rest of your skin care this has really made an enormous difference in the plumpness and the texture of my face especially the cheek areas because you know that's what will sag first this has made a huge difference I will always use it and it's not expensive so I'll list this down below too. And if you guys haven't tried the snail serum, you should try that too. It's heaven. I use that with a lot of my mask. It's mm, to die for, to die for. And yes, I'm still masking every night. I guess I will till the day I croak. All right. The next thing is, and I have mentioned this before in the video, for Solly, the rose gold little oil. This stuff is incredible incredible i know a lot of you tried to go on to the side purchase it and she was out um, it's a wonderful elixir uh she may have the larger size in i know she's got more back in but see it has the little gold go flex in it if you can see oh my god this stuff is heaven it's a beautiful elixir, and I use that at night to not only does it completely seal in the rest of my skincare and just works together, just marries everything together, but I can also use this in the morning with some of my liquid foundation. Just put a drop or two of this in there, and you come out with the prettiest glow you've ever seen in your friggin' life. So... Uh, I'm going to list this below. If nothing else, ladies, you've got to try this. I know a lot of you have, and you swear by it, and I'm telling you, I do too. All right. One more thing. We talk a lot about candles and scents in our home. I, I am the first one to tell you I love, love, love them. There are certain ones that I like, certain ones that I don't care for. The, my favorite candle in the world... You can chant, so it's starting to burn down. That's okay. I got a lot more waiting for me. Yeah, it's about down to here, so it's not too bad. I burned it halfway. Is and if I'm pronouncing this wrong, I apologize, but I will list this down below. Is Veluspa. Now, this particular, oh, these candles, you can burn it in one room and you'll smell it throughout your entire house. It burns slowly. Um, I mean, this is the best candle, but you're going to pay for it. It costs about 46 bucks a candle at this size. Uh, but this is Vervain Olive Leaf. These candles are the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. And I am here to tell you, you get your money's worth. You would not believe this candle, this particular one here, burns in my office. Now, it burns all day long in my office, so you're looking, what, eight, ten hours a day. And then, I'll start it again the next day. Can I tell you, I have this much left, and I've had this candle for, I'd say, good seven months. Good seven months. And I burn it every single day. Every single day. So, you can see how long they last. But they're pretty, they're more elegant looking, a little pricey, but they do have sales. I'll put the uh, link to this down below. But if you're going to buy candles, this brand is the best. You know, I love the sales they have. In, um, uh, what is it? Uh, bed, bath, body, whatever. You know, at the mall. Because I got one sitting back there. And they're fine for 
Thanksgiving and all that, and you kind of get your pumpkin smell and everything. But the rest of the time, I want something elegant. I want something that's going to stick. I want something that's going to smell. Not just, you know, something quick and it's gone like that. And I don't want anything that burns down so fast. These candles don't because they're a little pricier. But you know what? I'm telling you, you get one of these candles, you will never in your life buy another candle after that. You won't. Trust me, you won't. Okay, I'll miss Jack Jack here going on and on and on. But I wanted to bring out some of the things I am totally loving and did love in January. Some of my favorites. I will have everything listed below. If you have any questions about any of the products, please let me know, my ladies, okay? Boo! And oh, thank you so much on my new subbies. Oh my goodness, I got some really cool new subbies. And we're chatting up storm on message. I have to tell you, I just love you guys. You are so much fun. And you know, we're getting a lot of new subscribers. So we got to send them all our love, ladies, okay? But thank you so much for supporting my channel. I love you dearly. I want all of my ladies to say sassy, classy, and confident. And I will see you next week. Give me a big thumbs up on my video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Love you.